Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use your PS3 controller on your PC. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do is download the files into the description. The first file will be Xbox 360 driver, which we will need installed and it comes pre-installed on 8 and 10, but if you have any other windows, you want to install it. Next, you will need the SCP toolkit, which I will also link in the description. So if you go to your control panel and plug in your controller and you try to input something, even if your controller is being recognized by Windows, the input isn't being recognized. And this is what we're going to fix, because if you go to devices and printers, and you go to your game controller settings by right clicking it onto your controller you will see that the properties are unavailable so pretty much what this scp toolkit does is that it takes the input from your controller and then it makes windows think it's an xbox 360 controller and then it translates the input so that windows can get it forward on so this is the executable that you will be installing. So after you click run, it is going to initialize the installation for the SCP toolkit. Okay, so now what you need to do is choose your installation location. By default, is on your C drive. Agree to the license terms and conditions and click Next. Now you want to select which components of the SCP toolkit you want installed. For instance, I'm going to untick the unstable components because, of course, I don't want the unstable components and I will also install the Bluetooth power utility. Also, on testing and troubleshooting, I will get the gamepad analyzer as well as the debug info collector. And then, after you select it, click install. So, I'm going to let this install and be right back when it's done. Okay, guys, so now it's done, and what you need to do is click run driver installer. So, pretty much what this does is now installs everything ready. This just installs the toolkit and now we need to install the driver now don't worry about this notifications we are going to get them to disappear right after we finish installing everything so here you can see install bluetooth driver dualshock 3 driver and dualshock 4 driver now the dualshock 3 is your ps3 controller and dualshock 4 is the ps4 controller now you want to take which components you want i don't have a dualshock 4 so i'm going to just untick that. Now choose Bluetooth dongles to install. This will be available only if you install Bluetooth driver. Select your Bluetooth antenna and then go ahead and choose your controllers. And then click install. Okay. So now it is done and I'm going to just close the, these notifications, compress the logs and then exit the driver so we can continue on. Okay, so now what you want to do to get rid of the notifications is go ahead and close the tree notifications. And we also have to disable that from the task manager. So you want to right click, go to your task manager. And after you go to the expanded view, like I have here, you want to go to startup and disable it. Now on Windows 7 and earlier, what you have to do is press Windows key and R key at the same time on your keyboard, type in msconfig, go into startup tab, and then disable it and then click OK and restart your computer. Now I already have restarted and you have to do this on any Windows. So let's go ahead and get going. 
So in order to get it everything done, you want to go ahead and open the SCP standalone server from your start menu. And then you want to plug in your controller. By default, the server is started. So you have to make sure it's started and then plug in your controller. And then it will appear right here into this. So you can see I just plugged it in and it appeared and it's unlocked. Now if you click it and you will be able to control the vibration motors in order to test that they are working. And you can see here we have both motors, left motor, right motor and both off. Okay, so if you press the clear button you'll see that the logs disappear. And now in order to disconnect the controller, click stop, disconnect your controller, and then exit the standalone server. So now let's get back into the standalone server and start up the service again so you can get a better view in the control panel of what is going on. So again, go ahead and open up the standalone server. So now it's started. Plug in your control controller, and you can see in the list there is our controller again with all its controls for the vibration motors. And now, in order to test the inputs, we are going to go into the control panel. So let's open up control panel. View devices and printers. And you can see PS3 controller and Xbox 360. So the PS3 controller is your controller and the Xbox 360 is what Windows detects as being your controller because what the SCP toolkit does is that it fools Windows into thinking that there's another input which is your Xbox 360 and it's just getting the input that the PS3 controller sends and it gives it to Windows. So if you right click on your Xbox 360 settings and click properties, you can see if I move the left joysticks onto the axis, you can see the cross moving. If I move the right joystick, you can see the X and Y axis moving. So if I move it up and down, you can see the Y axis. And if I move it side to side, you will see the X axis. Now the Z axis is actually your triggers. So left two and right two buttons on your controller will be the Z axis. And this is what it controls. So you can have both inputting at the same time. Now the point of view hat that you can see down there is actually your D pad. And then you have your buttons, which are actually 10 buttons in order. So with all this being working, now I'm going to show you how to disable it, the service starting with your windows by default. So this is what we're going to do now. So in order to disable the service to start with windows and start it only when you want it, go to MS config as you will do on startup settings to disable the startup for the notifications on windows seven and earlier, and then go down to services tab now here, you want to scroll all the way down into the list and make sure the hide all Microsoft services tick box is ticked. And you can see here the updater and this is what you're looking for and you want to have it disabled. Next, you want to go up in the list and find out SCP service and you want to have that disabled as well and then click apply and click OK and restart your computer. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, enjoy your time with your controller and see you next time on How Do I Tea.